Do you have 100 people here like you did last year in uh, Bloomington? Uh, no, maybe 10, 10 family members and friends. Uh, ni- nice little showing, especially uh, for about a four-hour trip for most of them. So uh, it was nice having them here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's certainly much more enjoyable, but I mean, when, when you play at Indiana, you know, it's only an hour from home for me. So a lot of my family, friends, uh, can really come out and show support. So last year I just felt really jittery. It was the first time I had played in front of them in a long time and I just wanted to play well and, uh, got got caught up in, in the emotion of that and not just playing the game. And uh, so this year I was just focused on trying to help my team win. You look at you guys defensively, just not just tonight, but throughout the year. What's What areas specifically do you think you're better at as a team this year defensively than maybe before? Yeah, I mean, I think we do a really good job of plugging. And uh, our pack line defense is really tough on teams to get in the paint and – when you can't inst- establish something inside by getting driving into the paint or uh, playing through the post, you know we really dig when we they hit the post. It's it's hard to, you know, score uh, when you. I mean that's what every team wants to do is play inside out. And uh, when you when you struggle to get in there to make plays, then uh, obviously it makes it tougher on their their offense. So I think, our, you know, obviously our coaches have also done a great job of giving us a game plan, guys who we can help off of, guys we can't leave. And we've done a great job of executing that as well. Ryan, I apologize if somebody's asked you this question. Were, um, were you recruited at all by Indiana? No. Was it a school you might have um, thought about going to if you had been? Yeah, I would have considered it. Um, but – I mean that's in the past. I'm I'm really happy with where I'm at. Uh, we've we've done something really special here, and we'll continue to build it. Back in those days, in high school days, did it, did it bother you? Uh, no, it's just part of it. They uh, recruit re- nationally, I think, more than uh, they recruit guys from Indiana. They only have a couple Indiana kids on there, so that's just part of how they recruit. And you know, it's part of the game. Uh, it's a business. I understand that. So uh, I just had to find a school that fit what I needed to do or what I wanted, and I found it. Does that give you a lot of energy when you play this team, Indiana? Yeah, just because I get to play in front of friends and family. Uh, like I said, I'm, I was only an hour away growing up, and so a lot of friends and family are IU fans, and also they enjoy coming to see me. I always get the, uh, well, I hope you play great, but I hope you lose by one. So, I, I mean, that's just, you know. They bleed IU red, so. Bryant, you guys are having a lot of success now, more tension and stuff like that. How do you feel about this team's ability to deal with, you know, more more attention, you know, both here and then nationally and everything coming up? Yeah, I mean, we're really hungry as far as we're not satisfied with what people are saying about us. We don't read that stuff. Uh, coaches have done a great job of keeping that a priority of not reading into your headlines and not getting caught up into that because we we know really well it can go as fast as it came. So, And at the end of the day, there's only two stories that you guys are going to write about us, and we understand that. So, you know, it's we'll either do something special and be different or we'll be like every other Northwestern team. And that's the, that's the end of the story. So... Uh, it's an easy job for you guys, and it's a uh, fun job for us to change to change the culture. Indiana switched to a box and one on you late. Um, what did you think of that, and do you think you might see more of that going forward? You know, I don't know. Uh, I was kind of surprised. Obviously, it's not something we prepared for, and I I think you kind of saw that we uh, it put us on our heels a little bit. So maybe teams will try that out. I'm sure we'll go through it in preparation for that uh, against another team. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. I don't, I don't anticipate it, but, you know, teams and coaches in this league are really good. So if they think it bothered us or can affect us, then, yeah, we'll, we might see it again. 
So uh, last year you had an air ball from three, and the crowd was rough on you. Yeah. Early on, you had one. Yeah, but it obviously, just oh, yeah. It, oh, it slipped. Okay. Yeah. Were you able to just be like, hey, that was a fluke, and, and obviously it didn't yeah, affect Yeah, I mean, it didn't affect my confidence because if I had actually shot it and I airballed it, then that would have affected it. But <laughs> because it slipped, it was just like, you know, it's part of the game. Uh, I was really into it. And so, I mean, it, it's part of it. Everybody shoots one. It's all good. Of all the things you can do in basketball, how much fun is it to change the culture of a place and to do things that haven't been done in 60 years and 80 years? And I mean, It's special. Year? And that's, that's the end of the story. It, it, for us, it, it's going to be really special when we do it. And I really believe that we're good enough, too. <clears throat> There's things we have to get better at. We have to get a little bit tougher. And we can be really, really good. But, I mean, like I said, we, we feel we are really good, but – we can be even better, which I think is scary. And, yeah, I mean, that's that's the fun part, going in each and every day and understanding what everyone thinks of this program and kind of allowing that to be a little bit of a fire in our bellies to, and at Stokes right there that, you know, we have to be different. Like, th this this is over. This isn't This isn't the same Northwestern. Yeah, I mean, we just have to make tougher plays. I think they uh, they bullied us on a little bit on the boards early. Uh, offensively early, we were a little jittery. Uh, we can execute better. We turned it over late. There's a, there's a lot of things we can grow from. <clears throat> but, you know, we put, in our, we put ourselves in great position to win the game. But, like I said, there's Coach Collins, our staff, and definitely myself, are never satisfied with a win. Um, we always are in pursuit of perfection, but understand that it's not it's not attainable. It's this is an imperfect game, but we'll continue striving for that.